Oh, it is late. You remember before, uh, a couple days ago, when I said it was late? It was not late. Now it is late. I am. We had a long day. We were we were in the build until midnight, and I am now editing video to get these up in the morning. And yeah, it is going great. You can see the other build videos, and they're just fabulous. Um, you haven't. You haven't seen the whole of it either. I have been sort of holding back a bit. I got asked a really interesting question tonight from Larry, who's the who's the the head of the the build, which is me as as an outsider. I'm not a balloon artist or anything like that. What do I think of all this? And how do I think it works? I mean, balloon manor isn't just uh, a big, giant. Let's build a cool thing. It's a social event. It's a training event. It's an opportunity for mentorship. It's an opportunity to share work. And I, I likened it to a week-long grad school for balloon artists. Because it's more than just come together and build a thing. It's not like a conference where you run around to panels and you learn things. You, and there's teachers and there's students. You know, you sort of, you're here, you're sitting down on a panel to learn a, a specific thing or a specific set of things. This is more, it's, it's more like a, a, an intensive grad program because you're not just learning things from masters in the field. And there are masters here. There are people who've been doing it for 30 years. There are world-class, internationally famous balloon artists like Royal Sorrel, you know, creating all kinds of incredible stuff. But they're not just giving instructions. They're not just teaching. They're working with each other. Grad school is where students start to become the peers of their professors. It's, it's where apprentices become masters. And that's what this is. this is. This is work with people who are incredible and work with them and work beside them. Not just, don't just work for them. And you work toward a common goal. And you work toward realizing someone's vision and realizing the fact that one day these people can come together and realize your vision. What we do at Balloon Manor is take an idea and make it real in balloons. I mean, Larry and Kelly have put together this incredible design and you know, 50, 60 of us are making it a reality. But with that comes the knowledge that we can do it. If you have a great design, if you have a great, you, you can, if you can create a great opportunity for people, they will come together, and you can build it. And that's part of what we do at Balloon Manor. Is is uh, Drew calls it his balloon family, and a lot of other people echo that sentiment because there there's a certain closeness after you've you know worked on a site with people for 14 hours or 16 hours or however long we were at it tonight. And now that I've gotten past the hellos and I've started getting into the stories, the stories of why people do it, the stories of why people think it's important, the stories of people who do it as a family, who've passed you know, balloon twisting on from parents to children, sometimes to grandchildren. It's incredible. Stories are going to, we'll, we'll definitely have some of the stories on the weekend. Um, my editing queue is full right now. <laughs> I have to sleep. I have to fill, fill more things. But eventually I'm going to run out, and the stories will start coming, and that'll be great. Uh, probably Saturday or Sunday. But in the meantime, I'm going to finish editing so we can get the build video up. Uh, we should be up along with this. And let me know what you guys think of it, because uh, I think it's pretty cool. And I will see you guys tomorrow with more videos.
Good night. And I will be. Straight